political party is going anywhere close to that. But Keir Starmer does want to negotiate a closer trading relationship. So what do all voters, not just the young ones, make of that? A new report from UK in a changing Europe has asked people, dividing them into Tory and Labour voters and then Leave and Remain voters. The dark blue bits are those who are more likely to vote for Labour because of that policy. The pink are those less likely, while the light blue bit in the middle are those who say it wouldn't impact their vote at all. And interestingly, they do seem to dominate. People are quite apathetic to this now. There are Labour and Remain voters who are more likely to back Labour, but many of them would vote Labour anyway. And there are Leavers and, Remain and, Leavers and Tory voters who are put off by the policy, but only 30%. Some Leavers actually quite like it. So why the despondency? Well, the report also has these findings. A quarter of the population, 20% of Remainers and 39% of Leavers, think there was a way to make Brexit work, but politicians didn't even try. And way more than that, 51% overall and 63% of Leavers think politicians were ineffective and failed to get a good deal. So voters think our oh, Brexit deal is a bad deal. So it's a good thing I've got <laughs> Michelle Barnier here, who was uh, with David Davis, rather instrumental in negotiating all this. Um, can I just ask you about Keir Starmer's policy? Um, he says that because there's a review of the free trade agreement in 2025, he thinks that's a moment to renegotiate the free trade agreement. But that's not what's planned, is it? Are you sure that the guest hours spoke about, speak about the, the renegotiation of the yep. trade agreement? Yep, that's what he says. Because as I understand it, it's just a technical I, review. I listen his speech speaking about the improvement of the relations between UK well, okay, and EU. Improvement, but, but he talks about improving the free trade agreement. And, we, you know. have, we have to evaluate and to review in 2026. So what does that mean? That means that we have to see if it's work or not. But to be frank, there is no uh, room for any kind of uh, renegotiation of the substance. Yeah. Because, as I always say during all the negotiations from the day one to the Last day, mm -hmm. there will no room for any kind of uh, unraveling uh, of the single market. Huh? So that means that we can, if this point is very clear, yeah. we can improve some of the technical details. Perhaps. Technical details, for instance, the vet veterinary yeah. uh, relations to uh, facilitate the relations and the, the export for animals or, or, or vegetables. But in the substance, fundamental. there is no. We can. We have to be out or in. And let me record that the UK could have choose to, to stay in the custom union or to stay in the single market as Norway. The, the choice of the UK was to leave everything and it was his choice, not our choice. But so there's, about, no, there's no fudge, there's no compromise around any of this? No, there is no compromise about the, the, the rule of the single market, which is, let me record the fact that the single market is much more than a free trade zone. Yeah. The single market is... A, a kind of ecosystem, a complete ecosystem with common norms, standards, regulations, supervision, and jurisdictions. Yeah. So we can we have to be out or in. But speak, coming back to the the relation between UK and EU, we, there is lots of issue where we can improve the relations. Keir Starmer speak about uh, spoke about uh, uh, research, yeah. about innovation, about security. I can add about foreign policy, speaking yeah. about the, the peace in the Middle East. Uh, about defense, yeah. about the cooperation in Africa, if, I may, if you can add also the fact that we have to... So these, so the, but these are all, I mean, these are all very important, but they are not fundamentally about the economy or trade. Uh, speaking about, for instance, the superpowers of many big companies, the financial services, sure. or in, in data centers or, or, yeah. or internet, we, we have to... We are speaking about economy. Huh? Yeah. If you speak about cooperation in Africa yeah. and the, co and the no, consequences no. for migrations, yeah. we are speaking about economy. No, this, this is uh, fundamental stuff. Now, I, do, I want to ask um, David Davis something, which I'm actually going to come back to you on in a minute. But you ought to notice that your colleague Steve Baker says that he regrets there wasn't a supermajority uh, rule written into the referendum, but he thinks it should only have been victory for the Brexit side if you've got a majority of 60%. Do you agree with Steve Baker? If you look at those figures, 
I mean, you know, no. there no longer appears to be a majority in favour of we, 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 If you may remember, we tried something like that, or at least a British government tried something like that, with a, with a Scottish referendum, not the last one, but one earlier, and it, was, it caused enormous grief in right. trying to do that. So, no. And, you know, I mean, I, 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 don't, I don't... I mean, I, I, I'm unsurprised by those numbers. I mean, it's, it's no surprise that I am... Uh, critical, should we say, of Theresa May's government. I resigned from it on these things. But even yeah. so, even so you know, we were exporting 300 billion a year to Europe before the referendum, and we were exporting 340 billion last year. So it's not, you know, you've got. But the message is not getting through. Of course, the not. people course, who voted for you. Of course not. I mean, the, the the British establishment. I've never seen such a case of confirmatory bias in my life. In what? In in terms of oh. Something's gone wrong. It must be Brexit. Something's gone wrong. It must be Brexit. But, these are, but these, but these are levers. I mean, do you think that we made a mistake in terms of having a simple majority in that vote? It seems to be that for a long time, for the beginning, it, it would be a little bit strange that such a historical, fundamental, uh, serious vote leaving the EU, leaving the EU after uh, 45 years of cooperation. Uh, will be taken by a simple majority. It seems to me very strange. But it's not useful to come back yeah. uh, in time. Uh, we have to okay. be now, realistic. But, but I'm almost out of time, but I do want to ask you one very quick thing. There are briefings in Downing Street. Oh, my God, we probably haven't got time for this. But Downing Street thinks that there's a view in European capitals to amend the European Convention on Human Rights in a way that London would like. Do you get any sense of that? You've got to say yes or no, unfortunately, because we're almost out of time. No. No, I think we need this strong framework of the convention, but on our side also we have some questions. Okay, I think that was a no. Unfortunately, I've been told we're out of time, which is very annoying. Now, that's it. The Prime